I wanted to go into something this week real quick. I want to put Mike Johnson, a PW Insider, over again uh, because he's he's a great guy. It's a great site. You will learn shit that's actually truthful as opposed to some of the other things you hear these days. But he did uh, – and by the way, he also – he did something. He did an audio portion of the – I think it was on the VIP. Somebody had asked him to do something about the Midnight Express, and he was humming the Midnight Express song that he loved so much, but it he wasn't humming the movie theme. He was humming the WCW <laughs> simulated version. But Mike, the, 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 the original theme is doom, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't remember that goddamn it, god awful. It sounded like the fucking soundtrack to a bad seventies porn. Uh, but it, it, but I've got to, I've got to call Mike uh, on that. He's got to issue a retraction. He hummed the wrong melody when humming the Midnight Express theme. But he wrote a story on the website here a few days ago about just the how he felt about the not the publicity, but the the attention that page and Alberto Del Rio have been getting. And I don't have a dog in the fight because I've never met page in my life. And I met Del Rio once at those shows in England. He was very nice to me. We had, you know, limited conversation and he did his match and I was doing announcing and that, and that's the only time I met him. So I have no preconceived notion or, you know, uh, uh, and I don't know that he's ever wrestled a blow up doll out in public or, or anything like that. So I have no reason to hate him from afar, <clears throat> but uh, Mike made a point that they're getting too much attention. And regardless of the, the, the source of it, he felt the same as he felt like with Matt Hardy several years ago, which I think everybody knows Matt was worried about him then. And he's made an incredible, not, not just recovery, but he's turned things around and he, he's got great things going on with his family and his personal life and et cetera, professional life, et cetera. But unless it was something that they couldn't control, you would think that the amount of attention publicly that Alberto Del Rio and Paige have gotten lately would indicate that they would take extra care to not be out in public doing shit that gets attention. You know what I'm saying? So they have to admit to themselves at this point, maybe they need to stay home for a while or stay off Twitter and concentrate on what was causing all that. And that the point is Mike was making, he was worried at this point that, uh, that uh, something was going to happen. And I don't, I certainly don't have any firsthand knowledge or even secondhand knowledge that it's that far, but Jesus Christ, just to lay low, just for the sake of just, if nothing else, uh, taking some of the heat off yourself, I think would be a wonderful thing for them to do at this point. Don't you? I think I'm not a wrestling journalist like Mike Johnson or Dave Meltzer or anyone else, but I talk to a lot of people in the wrestling business and I know you do, and you've been around things and there have been a lot of stories going around and a lot of them, they aren't from a distance. You're hearing them from people who see things or observe things and it creates an interesting scenario where exactly what do you say? What do you say? What can you say? I mean, you're either afraid of a lawsuit or God forbid you're wrong. And in this case, I don't think everyone's wrong just because I know the stories, but it's, it's a hard thing to do. You know, it's a hard thing. You know, I mean, uh, I, I'll take this away. Well, let, let, let's, let's, let's put it this way. Not everybody's right, but not everybody's wrong either. I mean, I've, there, there's things can be inflated, but no, not everybody is wrong about all the stories. That's the that is the problem because they have video and eyewitness reports and police reports to corroborate. It's in multiple countries and multiple places with multiple third parties involved, and there are lots. Of, I mean, there's this there's a lot of stories. There's a lot of stories right now, and. <laughs> I mean, my favorite one, to be honest, I hate to say favorite. I'm not trying to mock people's misery, but when the, the police report of, of Del Rio and his brother getting in a fight and they had to repaint the fucking walls of the police station because all the blood was all over them. What the fuck? At that point right there, I, I, I think I would say, you know what? I'm going to go hang out in Hawaii for six months and just let people just calm down about me. 
Yeah, I, that was the story where he wrestled in, I forget what foreign country, and then his brother was there, and they went to an after party in a barn and started, like, beating up all the people there, and they got arrested, <laughs> and then they started beating each other up in the jail cell. That's not a good sign. No, especially when that's just another story. It wasn't an isolated incident. There's been just multiple stories right now, and I, um, again, it cre- you know, I, I, I'm even I'm even, like, a little apprehensive about comparing it to anything else or saying anything but it's just when you know something's happening but you can't actually prove it but you're hearing all these stories what are you supposed to do i mean it, i mean it sounds like mike johnson did what he wrote like a open letter about his concerns yes yeah and and, and if if everybody if you're a member i don't know whether it was on the free or the vip but you go to pwinsider.com and try to find it but um Basically, he said he's concerned for either, you know, getting bad news about either one of these people. And, you know, and it's a shame because I know, uh, obviously, Paige is a lot younger and has a lot more career ahead of her if she wants it and has apparently been a major attraction already. And they're making a movie about her, for God's sake, which may be the only reason why that she's still affiliated at this point with the WWE. Uh, but Del Rio's made a lot of money and he has uh, obviously still gets shots and has a restaurant and has a position with the, uh, MMA company down there. So, it, you know, it's not, it, this is a, a, a big budget blow up. It's not like these guys are fucking up, uh, th- their income. They got plenty of income. That may be the problem is, is it, are they making too much money? I don't know. Maybe they ought to stay home and learn to quilt. You know what I think says everything? Mike Johnson reports wrestling news. Mike Johnson all day, I'm sure, has to filter through rumor, innuendo, <laughs> and, and get to the real story about things. And, and talk about every fuck up in this fucked up business. And he got to the point where he felt he had to write this. I haven't read it. I mean, I'm just going based on what you said. But he got to the point where he said, I have to write something. And you know what that is? That's his conscience. That's him saying well, something is going to happen. And if I sit back and then say after the fact, oh, I know we all knew it was going to happen. We we're all waiting. I mean, that's what that is. Yeah. He's hearing the stories too. And what do you do if it's not you and it's not a member of your family, but you know, stuff's going on and you're a reporter or you're someone involved in the wrestling business. What are you supposed to do? What's the protocol? No, no one. I, I hate to go to this level, but just, just as an example, no one knew that Chris Benoit was going to go to the level he did. No, no one knew. But what if you had, what if in advance of that, there were signs that something could happen? What, what do you do? When do you speak out? Who do you speak out to? What are you supposed to do? Well, it, and I, I, I see the point you're trying to make. That's a, that's actually a bad example because that had, had to do with some, there were signs that Chris was, uh, uh forgetful or uh, different but not anything like that. But, but in not this abuse. case, but not abuse. But no, no, nothing in that. In in this case, whether it's abuse of whatever, or you know, just once again, not knowing when to just keep a low profile. Uh, it, it this is entirely different, and this is something I don't remember. Uh, to be honest, I, I've known a lot of classic fuck ups in the wrestling industry, but I don't remember a a couple. Uh, do you, they, they may have the couple's prize at this point. Sid and Nancy. I mean, I hate to say it, but. Well, no, not, I'm talking about in wrestling. I know you can't, there isn't thing. one. I mean, what, there isn't one. That's what I just said. I'm trying to think, is there any, no, I mean, I, I can think of a couples where one person was really fucked up. But, but as, as, as to your point, I think the better analogy be if, if, if someone is, is not suffering dementia or whatever somebody's suffering from bad judgment and poor decisions and what is the reason for this and we need to you know involve ourselves in that that's what somebody should probably say if they have the ability to but i don't know what you know you're dealing with grown grown adult folks you're dealing with grown you know, and the other problem is social media because incidents happen and then they go on social media and deny them. And then the family gets on social media and yeah, pleads for that, safety. That, that helps. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's chaos. It's fucking chaos. I've never, I actually, I dislike sharing personal details about myself in, in fucking conversations sometimes without you. I've never understood the people that just, let me hop on Facebook. 
talk about my goddamn child sodomizing uncle who married into the family from the alcoholic fucking insane asylum or whatever. <laughs>